it's great to see you. Great to see you in the in the bunker. Uh, so Paul and I have been doing this bunker series since the confinement, since the the uh, the pandemic has hit us all, and we wanted to kind of talk through what's really happening in different walks in life. So unfiltered, no no production, just raw conversation. And we thought it'd be great to, to get your angle in terms of entertainment, society. And uh, we just wanted to see, you know, how you've been doing through this whole process and, and how, how you guys been keeping and, and uh, we'll, we'll get into some more, but just let's start with where, where have you been? How have you guys been keeping and how has it affected you individually? Um, so during the pandemic, I've been in Los Angeles and basically just at home and our studio where, um, where we, uh, you know, recorded the whole album. Um, we were in the process of, of uh, finishing it uh, before the pand pandemic happened. And then when it hits, you know, you know usually people would, would stop in life you know, like, ah, uh, you know, you get discouraged. But uh, we made it a point like, yo, let's take this time to like zone in and create something that'll like provide joy. And you know, people are stuck at home right now and they need some talent and, and uh, you know, uh, music is, it's, uh, it's uh, something that we could provide and uh, keep keep the uh, you know keep 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 it alive, and um, it's uh, became a motivation. Wow. So, what about like your appearances, the voice, the VMA concert, which was incredible. You guys were you guys were like amazing. How did how how are you handling the voice um, appearances? Is it is it still going on? And then how did you guys pull off the, the whole VMA? Where did the idea come from? And, and how, did, how did you guys you know, execute that? Um, yeah, with the voice, uh, and of course, um, you know, there's been a lot of Zoom. <laughs> uh, yeah. Zoom uh, we, we finished the voice on Zoom, actually, the final really? uh, stage, stage of the show. And we literally, like, you know, there's a, a performance part uh, during the finale, which you like, you do a song with the with the with the artist, and we literally just recorded it on our cell phones. You know, I did like, I did my vocals on a cell phone, and then I had like two 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 iPhones to record my 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 lip syncing, and then the other one is recording the vocal, and then as well as the uh, the contestants and the artists in, from the Philippines. They did the same thing, and then, um, and of course, uh, ABS CBN just edited it all together to uh, to make it in like you, you perform in a studio. And um, yeah, so we did it all virtually, and like you know, and all our appearances, um, you know, we just been doing it in house. Uh, we were inspired by a couple of like virtual studios we were invited and then we built one in our in our studio called the future and it's basically a virtual stage and you know so that's where we did all our guest appearances from the from good morning america to uh a lot of like uh european shows to um yeah so because you know with the virtual stage you could just basically imagine anything and they could basically put it behind you and and it's it, it's just, just a matter of like placing yourself so it makes it like you know more 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 grand than it is and um with the vma uh that's that's uh that's all vma's production right there we just showed up and it was very uh strict um you know i just came i just um i just flew back from the philippines finishing the voice and literally they send like a nurse uh to uh swab me for like three days straight before i get before i was able to uh 
up on a stage. And um, yeah, it's, it's uh, basically it's it's uh, a VMA's idea. It's a New York rooftop, and everything is just virtual to AR to you know what I mean. Like, however, like a red carpet was like, <laughs> it's just just. Yeah, uh, I, mean, I got to say they got they did a great job. They got great reviews, and it's hard to pull off. I mean, I, I guess people have terrific imaginations and execute that well. So hats off to that production and, and your, your, uh, how you guys, how you guys uh, showed it was great. Yeah, man. It's, uh, you know, we really, um, since, since, since we didn't stop like, you know, making music and making appearances, it's, it, be it became like this, this normal thing. Like you kind of like, imagine yourself like you know now there's no audience so you kind of like gotta dig in like you gotta perform like you As know if you, gotta, you gotta use your imagination like oh there's a crowd there and so you gotta bring that same energy you know what i mean it's like it makes you dig deeper in what's and on what's going on so how does how's life how do you feel I, it feel like it's it's no different because you're still performing and you're doing it in a different with a different you know production value but you're still performing and working or do you feel it's different than it was a year ago do you guys feel the same or you feel different well it is it, it does feel different but we see it as like we're blessed to be able to to work and still engage and we have and, you know, we're very thankful for all the tools, the, you know, social media. And uh, it's different because we can't tour. We're supposed to be on tour right now. We're supposed to be uh, somewhere in Europe, you know, um, yeah. working the album. Um, but other than that, like, we got to make it happen, like, however, you know what I mean? So we just yeah. been uh, trying to be innovative as much as possible. And I feel like, you do more you do more personal stuff nowadays you know what i mean that's one of the gifts like this pandemic brought is like you know before you had to go to a place and do an yeah. interview and that that shaves off that like you know that's like three hours you got all day, time you know and now you got all the time in the world and you get to do I, I, uh, I, I, you get, been working out like 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 a madman. You you are so fit. I, I I follow you and and you're keeping so fit. What got you into fitness that like like in that way? Because when I first met you, you weren't you weren't into it that way, right? You you, you were in shape from dancing, but you're like a fitness buff now. <laughs> um, doing TV, man. Doing TV. Doing the voice. Because there's, you always get criticized, like, oh, you know, especially in Philippines, it's like, there's no, like, there's no breaks, you know, they're like, they say what it is, like, oh, you know, I think Apple's getting chubbier, and, you know, you're like, I started listening to that, I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, like, oh, and you get motivated, you know what I mean, and like, and, and of course, like, um, us, our, our, you know, as a, as a, uh, our crew, our squad, we like, we check on each other. You know what I mean? Like, we're like, hey, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I think you've been cooking too much chicken adobo, or you know, <laughs> or Will's eating too much Impossible Burgers, and uh, you know, we we still gotta like keep that appearance. You know what I mean? Like, and we're not getting younger, so metabolism slows down so i don't want to be a fat p you know what i mean i can't you know i i got a feeling that I, it's gonna be a a good dinner night no it's gotta be a party all the time <laughs> yeah tony oh, tony yeah. does that to me he tells me that i'm that i'm getting chubby so that's how that's how that's i try right. it that's my motivation right there <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh constructive criticism was we what, how we call it as a crew right like yeah. you know, when when we write lyric to from making music to making beats to writing lyrics, we always like, hey, you know, you could do better. Uh, you know what I mean? We always push each uh, other that uh, each other that way, and that becomes not not bled into uh, fitness and how how appear 
that, that how, certain, how curious, sorry. I was at, when I was at your old studio, because I recorded my, what, my first album in your old studio with Poet. And there was really a something spiritual in the old, but the one in Glendale, which I which yeah. I love, it's like special place. And I finished writing um, my first my first you know the, my first uh, single, Feel the Light. And I said, Poet, Poet, this is this is great. He goes, he goes, it is great. Now store it, like almost rip it up in your mind, and do it again, but do it better. I'm like, what do you mean? I just finished the song. No, 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 that's not how we do. You think you've done it? Now we're going to try to beat it. And when you can't beat it anymore, then you got something that, that you got. But you don't know yet until you write something that's even better than that. And we ended up writing something, you know, in our mind that was better. So that, that philosophy is, uh, is really cool. And I, I you know, I, I guess it, it's, it's part of why you guys have been successful. You're perfectionists. Yeah, man. It's like, that's, um, you know, when we write songs, like, uh, um, like, let's get it started. We got like at least 10 versions, you know? Yeah. It's, it is always like, and sometimes we have to stop ourselves. Like, okay, like, I think we got it now. You know what I mean? You keep like, there's always something to fix. And then uh, we're notorious for like, you know, beating our, our heads into like, you know, okay, okay. Uh, you know, how after a while, you guys, like not you've been together so long and together, and you're like you know family. You know, talk to us about your relationship with Will and Taboo, and I guess Fergie. But not, and you br you brought in Jessica, who appears with you guys now. That you brought in, you weren't you discovered her. H how has the relationship evolved over time? As you got, I mean, you guys have have been doing this a long time together. You're you you've really been super successful. And, and yet it, it hasn't seemed to change your inner relationships you, that there's still that, you know, that, that friendship that started when you guys were kids, how has it evolved? How, how, talk, talk to us about, about that aspect of it, particularly now that you guys see each other so much. Oh man. Like, um, you know, beyond being in the uh, bandmates and uh, doing music together and in business together, uh, it's family first, you know, like it's that brotherhood, that friendship. And, and, you know, we always, we've all, all of us had that, that like that same goal, like, you know, me being adopted from the Philippines, um, wanting to help and provide for my, for my family. We're coming from the East LA, from the ghetto and as well as taboo. So we always had that, like, you know, I remember like um, after um, shortly of being adopted, you know, the excitement of being in America uh, dissipated and I wanted to be sent back home. Like, you know, I started to get homesick. And then I remember um, Will was like, and then, you, you know, we were doing music. He um, got me into rapping. And he's like, you know, I would like, you know, I would cry. I'm like, you don't want to be sent back home to my back to my family and stuff like that. And it's like, it's like, don't worry, Ab, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it, and then we're gonna perform back in Philippines in front of your family. You know, wow. so that that's like, wow. you know, that's that we have that connection. Like, you know what I mean? And then my and then of course my adopted father, you know, he wanted me to go to school. Uh, be a nurse. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, and I, I went into music and, you know, there was a, a, I remember there was a talk one day. Uh, he sat us down. He's like, you know, talk to me and Will. And he's like, well, Will, I brought Alan here from the Philippines to have, a, to have a, an education, but uh, he chose to uh, make music and rap with you. So uh, it's in your hands now. So, you know what I mean? So, um, so we just kind of had that, like, that, that, like, that, that, that bond, that, yeah. like, that same goal, like, yo, we got to make it. And that, that gave us the, like, don't take no for an answer. We had to prove ourselves in the music industry. Back in the days is always, you know, it was predominantly like gangster music, NWA. 
um, but we were more into like break dancing to far side to tropical quest. So it was like, you know, they didn't think it was our music was tangible, you know, at that, mm -hmm. at that, at, at that, at those times. So we had to like prove ourselves. We, we had to go to like colleges at, at like lunchtime and create a following. Like we would literally get people's mail because there's no email or no Facebook or no social media. So we would take people's address addresses and then we would mail them the flyers for the next show. Wow. And so and that's how a way to prove um, to prove ourselves. And like so now there's this that's there's still there's no change. There's nothing changed on how we like you know how we are as 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 a crew as a squad and, and family because you know we 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 um it's you know before music it's it's family so whenever we do something like you know when i brought jessica uh when i discovered her from the voice uh philippines and brought her to the u.s i'm like yo will's gonna love this girl as much as i do so as soon as he saw her at, in, in my studio room, just like I said. So, um, it's, you know what I mean? It's like the same goal and um, it's always kind of moving it forward. And, um, you know, and um, we've gotten so close that like uh, constructive criticism doesn't, usually it would like, hurt people you know what i mean like oh you think i was not good enough no i just want you to try harder and that's how we check each other so ain't nothing, that's, ain't nothing change that's cool yeah i i guess you know do you think you know now that you can perform virtually like you said you've been doing with the iphones with zoom with these virtual studios do you think that takes the place at least somewhat where you don't tour as much or mm -hmm you know, how, how you've operated before the pandemic, will it change? Or once they find a cure or a vaccine, do you think you go back to what you used to do? Was everything go back to normal or will things be different for you, you know, performing and, and touring wise going forward? Well, uh, I feel like this is like some of the, the, uh, the um, experience or some of the tools that we've learned and, you uh, learn to utilize. Uh, I feel like we could combine the the, uh, the both of these things together. Yeah. And um, you know, of course, we're gonna go back to normal. But like now, it showed us like, hey, you could like pretty much start um, a lot of things just via internet or just utilizing all these uh platforms you know what i mean like right um and and it's not stop man it's not stop like like just today i'm just like my brain it keeps going i'm like okay like you know we finished the album and we're going to our last video like what's next like what's mm -hmm. next um like what can i do next like for the future especially like you know what i mean uh, i just finished doing the voice philippines and i've met so many talented like artists and but something keeps knocking like what can i i gotta do something with these kids like mm. during this time like right and and like so it's giving me a lot of like different ideas like on how to record them via, via, um, just via internet. Like, how can I make that possible, right? So I'm like, you know, use, I'm like, oh, I got, I could utilize Zoom um, to like, to like go back and forth with ideas with these kids. And then maybe I could send them like some equipment and then they could record themselves and then spit it back to me and then I could put it together. So. Right. It's so you know what I mean. It's like yeah, yeah. never. It's yeah. never ending, and, and like there's so many like, and and the biggest one of the biggest networks from the Philippines, like just shut down. Oh wow! And 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 there's so many. I'm like, okay, what's going on with all these 
uh, actors and actresses and artists and writers. I'm like, hmm. I'm like, I could, I could do something with that. Like, and then, and then I'm thinking, I'm like, well, how can I do that during the pandemic? I could, and I'm like, well, I could create content that, like, it only, it, I gotta go, uh, you know, stay in the margin of what's going on right now. Like, oh, how can I be, how can I uh, 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 create content during this time and the amount of uh, freedom and, and what you could utilize at this moment, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. I, so it's like, I feel like we can, um, it's, uh, we're going to combine these two worlds together. You know what I mean? Like, like, cause, um, for example, like before this, the translation album, uh, our, our last tour, you know, people are just like, you know, they just put their phones up while you're performing, you know, we're like, I'm like, and we're like, are they enjoying the show? Cause they just want to film, you know, they just want to film and like, All right. and, then, and then we're like, so that gave us the idea of like AR, you know, what, you know, you, while you point your phone, we could create some like, some background stuff that while you're pointing your phone, there's like objects that are appearing like during the show now you're just not not only you're putting your phone up now you have some other visuals Very and like uh innovative cool. things going on you know so yeah man uh just right in the waves uh you know to answer that question just right in the waves and uh i guess mel melding the two things together and just find the outlet on um how we could entertain uh, uh, yep. uh, one of my, uh, I think my favorite uh, BP song, and, and the first one I heard where I kind of just fell for the group and, and you guys was Where Is The Love. Uh, you and I actually performed that song together. I don't know if you remember in the Philippines a few years back. And, um, you know, that song has so much meaning to me and, and to many others. I'm just wondering, given today's context, on you know, a more serious note, with all the racial tensions, what does that song mean to you guys? And, and how do you guys, what do you, how are you guys reacting to all this going on? And, and uh, you, you've seen this now for years because you wrote about it, but it's not gone away. Uh, yeah, you know, unfortunately, um, that song is like the perfect song right now uh, on what's going on with uh, racial tensions and, you know, all the negative stuff that's going on. Um, like, that song, it's like, because we were trying to, like, you know, during the, the translation album, you know, we were kind of like, should we, you know, should we write another? Where's the love? That kind of, like, kind of song but the people are the one that, that asking for where's the love you know yeah. they're like you know and we we're like you know what i mean it's like they're the one that like um start like um requesting for that song mm -hmm. and then um and i think that song you know touches on like Unfortunately, uh, some of the subject matter that's still going on uh, these days. And um, it's the song that like gives you hope and uh, an outlet to kind of like, to, um, to kind of like, uh, a ther it's a, a very therapeutic song for people right now. Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, with all the things that that's going on, and um, who came up with and, that idea for that song? Was it um, you? Who 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 conceived of that song initially, way back when? So um, that song uh, actually came from another type of like dark moments in a uh, in a uh, in our history. Um, back in, um, 
um, 2000, um, 2001. Um, um, so, you know, we were we were working on an album and we were in um we were in San Francisco Bodega Bay mm -hmm. and then you know we were in a in a house in one studio and we woke up in the middle of the night and we saw like planes like running through like you know smashing through buildings and i remember will woke me up and he's like, yo, 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 look what's going on on TV. I'm like, you know, and I woke up and I'm like, is that a movie? You know, and it, and it was 9-11. And, and then uh, that happened. And the next day, we're supposed to go, we were supposed to go on tour. And and then once again, it's like, and it's very uncertain, like, yo, should we... Should we still go on tour? I mean, like, you know, buildings are blowing up, you know? And once again, we still made it a pack. Like, you know what? I feel like, you know, this is a calling for us to provide music during these dark times. So we packed up from Bodega Bay and we're like, let's, let's uh, get out of there before the, you know, before they bomb the, uh, the, um, the bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge. And so we decided to go on tour. So we still went around nationally. We did a US tour. And after finishing that tour, that's when we wrote the gift from by doing that was where's the love? Wow. You know, by by seeing what's going on. And then uh, we got in the studio and, and then wrote Where is the Love? And, uh, you know, it's always that same, like, let's provide, like, therapy for people because there's so many uncertainty going on, so much negativity. So we went on tour and then the gift was Where is the Love? And, yeah. and, you know, even, like, in our careers, we're like, you know, we didn't know what's going on. You're about to be dropped by by interscope because you know we didn't meet the quota and that song like sparked something in us and that got us like um you know we got to go on tour worldwide with that song the first one to uh you know to be recognized and um anyways but like yeah where's the love it's um it's um it's a very uh, uh, perfect uh, reflection and how people feel uh, even now a days. Yeah. Well, sure. I, I gotta, I gotta ask. So speaking of where's the love and you said that you get a lot of requests for that still to this day on a, on a lighter note, you know, Tony mentioned just now that you all performed that together in the Philippines. I oh, don't man. see how I, I, how could I not ask? <laughs> or a little sample of that when I'm in, in the presence of both of you. So what are the chances of getting a little sample right now of Where's the Love? Because everyone's requesting it, including me. <laughs> you close this out with Where's the Love? A little sample. Come on, guys. A little yeah. something. You got to give the people what so, they want. <laughs> I, I got to ask. Well, you want, how did you, you, how you, did you, you say you sing the chorus, right? You do, you do your part and I'll sing the chorus, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll start with me, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. You give me the beat, you give me the beat and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll riff in. And, and just to yeah, be clear, yeah. I'm contributing nothing to this. I'm, a, I'm the, on the audience. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, where is the love? I feel the weight of the world on my shoulder. As I'm getting older, y'all, people get colder. Most of us only care about money making. Selfishness got us following the wrong direction. Wrong information always shown by the media. Negative images is the main criteria. Infecting the young minds faster than bacteria. Kids wanna act like what they see in the cinemas. 
whatever happened to the values of humanity, whatever happened to the fairness and equality, instead of spreading love, we're spreading animosity, lack of understanding leading us away from unity. That's the reason why sometimes I feel under. That's the reason why sometimes I'm feeling down. It's no wonder why sometimes I feel under. Gotta keep my faith alive till love is found. Now ask yourself. Go ahead, Tony. People dying, children hurt and hear them crying. Can you practice what you preach? Would you turn the other cheek? Father, 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 help us send some guidance from above. Got me, got me, got me questioning. Where is the love? Where is the love? Where is the love? Where is the love? The love, the love. The love. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Man. That's yeah. awesome. You're a great sport app. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging with us and uh, keep doing what you're doing. You guys inspire. You inspired me. And, and you know, you, 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 different moments in time, that, that song's been inspirational to me. So when you write music, people say you inspire one person. You've done your job. And you guys have inspired millions. So keep on, keep on keeping on. And, and uh, thanks for being a friend. And, and you know, when, when um, we do our charity work and, and do different things, you're the first one out there raising your hand and volunteering to do stuff with us. So much love to you and uh, regards to the whole gang. And uh, hope you guys, we love Ritmo. I mean, Ritmo is, I mean, Jay, Jay Balvin, how, you know, that was, that, that's a sick song. And, uh, and Mama Sita. So you guys, you guys are, you know, first two out of the bat, it's like, you know, ripping. So uh, it's great to see. Love the yeah, Latin man. vibes. Uh, Love yeah, it. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Um, we got more coming up. We got a new um, a single with Shakira. Oh, wow. And uh, we are about to uh, film that video. So that's why I'm on my fitness. Because uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> they got to, like, match them hips. But not my <laughs> hips. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? With my triceps. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that new album is great for um, great for working out, um, you know, for uh, parties, because we made it like into like a kind of DJ playlist where it doesn't stop. So it's good for that. Check out uh, Jessica, J. Ray Soul, got a new project coming up from uh, our label, um, Lost Feliz um, and Epic. Well, thank you. Awesome. Thank Keep you. up the great work. Thank you guys. Thanks for being with thank us. You. Thank you, guys. Thank you.